<laughs> yeah. Is that me? The okay, okay, okay. Radiant. Which, which? Is it, is it, yo, give me my. Oh, sorry. Liquids. But you don't have a hat. the most important part, Sheever. Don't forget the the reins. What <laughs> time, Sheever? Jeez. <laughs> so demanding. I mean, I don't have to do that. That helps. How, how am I supposed to equip this? Wait, there's a picture of how to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know it's supposed to go on my face, but how? There's nothing sticky to. All right. Five I'll, seconds remaining. I'll, I'll just. I'll just take it. Where's your hat? Team liquids. Oh, it says hat not included. Right. Hat not included. What? Hat not included. <laughs> Jinx. This is the way you have to hold the hat. Team liquids. <laughs> 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 nice. Fuck off. The war. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see what's going on. So right, oh. we got the draft starting. We got Clockwork being first picked up by mid or feet. Ten seconds. So let remaining. me find Clockwork. I'm I'm. I apologize Five if I'm getting slightly remaining. distracted by capitalist trying to get his Tinder pick going. Why? <laughs> and then on the other side, we got Team Liquid, Nice Stalker, and Ancient Apparition. How's the pony going over there? I think the pony died. Aww. All right, Night Stalker, most likely going to be our four position roamer as well. Going to pop in the jungle. Team and AA. Turn to back. One of the more offensive support being selected. And now we got Witch Doctor. Nope. <laughs> A hero that we saw Poppy do really well. So I didn't re re realize this just uh, till now after watching Puppy play. Witch Doctor has 120 GPM talent. At level 15. Five seconds remaining. That's, 120? A, that's a lot of ponies you could buy with like 120 GPM. But will you want to buy all the ponies? He bought a gem. That's almost as good as a pony. True. And now I'm off to a second phase of bands, which I can't see. So Shiver, give me a hand here. All right, all right, all right. So band wise. We have a Bane and Earth Spirit and the Beastmaster so far on the side of Middle Feed, which, you know, not surprising. Um, maybe Bane is the only one that is surprising, as they are normally the team's pick at the first themselves. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, they remove it. They already had a plan. We have an Earth Shaker, Ten Winter Wyvern, remaining. a Void, and a Queen of Pain ban by Team Liquid. Five seconds remaining. I think your horse died, dude. Liquids, My horse isn't bad. dead? Radiant team Excuse you? Bad. The one on the picture looks way more alive. Yes. In bands and picks. <laughs> <clears throat> like in bands. Very important that the Viper is banned. My horse died. Off. <laughs> what else is banned? It's uh, like in bands. They banned Quap as well. But they banned Quap as well, indeed. Five so it seems like Queen of Pain is like the de facto hero to be picked up. That I've noticed. Um, like yeah, well banned at the moment. But I guess with now the um, maybe being it a bit more normal for the Queen of Pain to be used in the offlane, at least in Team Liquid's point of view, uh, picking her up fairly early is more common. Yeah. I mean, she's a great tempo control hero. Or, you know, sets the tempo real well if you want to have fast speed this fast paced game. We have a Temporal Assassin ban on the side of mid or feed. They do not want to see Miracle get his hands on that. Gyrocopter, maybe? For uh, seconds remaining. Uh, mid or feed? Could be. Um, I mean, they could just copy Liquid's draft, right? I, I, I like some real run at you while you have uh, Ancient Apparition on the enemy team. Does not do well with run at you lineups. Very hard to set up. A um, little bit surprised they gave up the Night Stalker, though. Yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of uh, vision coming out from Team Liquid already. I guess mid, mid or feed. They have the Clockwork, so they have the Flare. Oh, these lanes are just getting more and more tricky to deal with for mid or feed with the Undying picked up for Team Liquid. Wait. Uh, Is this offlane dying? Yeah. 
I think, uh, is this aggressive trial? I think trial it might be um, off lane Night Stalker. Right? Okay. I think, and, yeah, sure. Maybe really core Night Stalkers. I don't know, actually. I have no clue. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The thing is, we've maybe. seen DC run the off lane and dying, or sorry, support and dying, and I think we've seen Optic do it as well. And what generally always end up happening is the Undying falls off very quickly. He also doesn't challenge the runes very well, right? You see other four position support that could challenge the rune with things like stuns, like Slaughter Crush, or a ton of slows, but Undying has neither. So I, I just feel like if both him and Clockwork is going to the runes, Clockwork is going to beat him every single time. That's, that's why we see Undying do well in the first couple of levels, but as the level gap and, and the goal gap increases, Undying generally falls off. So we'll see if Team Liquid does something a little bit differently here. You know, this could very well be like an uh, Invoker lineup. Team Liquid, some sort of like harder carry. The way they're setting up so much team fight. Um, maybe some sort of like Zen lineup or TA or something like that. Oh, TA's. TA got deep. Something that takes advantage of all this space and time that is going to be bought by an Undying lineup. The Marana could be good again. We saw Miracle Team. Yeah. Well, Marana, good for me to feed, though. Maybe yeah. as well. The thing about the Miracle Invoker is that right now in this lineup, there's not too many good Sunstrike setups. So I think it's going to be hard for him to find some free kills with AA and Undying. 10 seconds remaining. I like mm -hmm. Marana. It was a good choice. Five seconds remaining. It, it brings a lot of attack speed, so you can deal with Tombstone. You've got the escape mechanism of your leap, so you can leap in, go for the Tombstone, leap out if necessary, something like that. Gives you a lot of magic damage. It's just a very good pressure hero. So this is Cancel's Marana, then? Thinking. Yeah, I'm assuming yeah. it is. And we are still assuming that it's going to be Cinderin's Clockwork. That yes. is correct. Yeah. All right, so then we're looking for a Kezu hero as well as uh, team pick. Is, um, what? Take a model hero, I was going to say. It's a Necrophos again. So Necrophos got uh, a lot of nerfs with various changes of mechanics and such. But one <clears throat> buff that he did get is that the Fusal Blade, which is a favorite item of Marana, uh, no seconds longer remaining. spells. Yeah. Won't, won't take away that ghost shot. Five seconds. So how do you deal with the Necrophos ghost shot? Beast master. Oh, oh man, anti Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. You blow him up. Well, you also can still get rid of the ghost shot, right? Like Ooh. ghost shot is not being answered at the moment. Yeah. Is did this a room master? Which room master? Beast master. Beast master. Beast master is out of the pool. Brew master still in. Okay. The reason I was suggesting Five the beast master is Necro book now does purge. The Necro 3. So that's something you could look to. Who did Marana with all the with the dag on and things this weekend? Was that Samael? There was Marana. This yeah? Maybe. Probably. Sure. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> he, he could blow Necrophos up. Radiant team ban. He went for. Uh, oh, yeah. Batrider. So the. Awesome. Best offlaner to counter Necrophos. Though I feel like they already have enough counters. To be honest, if, if Midterfi just bulked up their team fight, I'd be pretty happy with where the lineup's at. Uh, team Liquid, some sort of remaining. run and gun hero. PA. Let's say PA again. I keep on saying that Five hero. Someone's bound to pick remaining. it. How do you feel about CK? Grim guess I am. Uh, sure. That also gives you a better setup for your AA. Because yep. right now, I feel like AA is kind of, there's a disconnect, right? I don't know who's Radiant setting up that Kofi for him at all. Yeah, you've got a paralyzing cast problem would be. Okay, okay yeah, that, that's true. But in, in general, he's like just, uh, well, maybe he's not fast enough, but he's close. Is there any possibility of a mid AA? 10 seconds remaining. Very, very tiny, even tiny. Five seconds remaining. Tiny possibility, but. I would say no. I think you're pressured too much by uh, Clockwork and Rana. I, I think Ancient App. Okay. Runners. Throwing that one out there. They do ban the Shven. Turn to feet. Ooh. And they'll get themselves a do. Sven. It's Doom for Kezu. Okay, one more hero needed for Team Liquid. I just killed a hero. I hope that's not the Ten one we need. Which hero did you kill? I don't know. I just fell down. 
Oh. Five seconds remaining. Well, so what are we Doom? thinking for last for last liquid pick? Sorry, what's the bug? It's a, it's a pretty hard safe lane, so Doom can at least get something, and he's good at being able to get on the offensive when the supports rotate over. Um, they could very easily put pressure. I mean, obviously, this whole entire lineup is just looking like T Necro. Doom and it's sure. both being picked against the Necro. Do you not think that Liquid is going to run an aggressive trial lane and, and Midorfi is going to put Doom on the safe lane? Ooh, never mind, it's Hairblade. What was your suggestion? Uh, run an aggressive trial lane if you're Team Liquid, but I think that kind of goes out of the window right now, depending on where the Terrorblade goes. Core on Core dying, dying. word from Fog. So they could All still right. run an aggro trial lane, um, and they would it would be some uh, like Necrophos 1v1 against the Doom. Aggro trial lane with Yen dying, and then the mid. It could happen. TB against Murano? But I think Necrophos does pretty well against the Murano. You can't, I don't think you want TB one. Uh, no, no. Um, no. Uh, We're going to have a Miracle Terror Blade. I don't know. This looks like a good AM game. Yeah, is it going to be mid or feed? This is going to take this first game of Liquid. What do you say, Capitalist? I was willing to take the risk on Secret. Yep. I'm not going to take the risk. I'll continue to go for Liquid. Same here. Liquid is good. All right. Uh, I'm going for Team Liquid as well. I do like Mid or Feed's draft, though. If it's going to work out, we will find out. It is over to Odie Pixel and Fog. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. We've got the second series of the day ready to go. Middle feed versus Liquid. And some pretty, well, uh, different things coming out for Liquid. We are indeed having Mind Control playing the core and dying. And uh, the Tomato Animator called the, the final pick, the Doom for Middle feed. What are we thinking? What is the hell is going on? I am. I don't even know what I'm thinking anymore, Cap. Is... What, what happened over in that panel segment? Jeez. I don't know. We were busy. We were. I'm chilling out. But uh, uh, what, what, what are we thinking? Do Does Sin and the boys have a chance to take a game off the TI winning team? I do like their draft overall. Yeah. It's it's pretty solid, but it's pretty hard to go against Liquid, especially uh, with a Miracle Terror Blade. I've seen this yeah. guy do damage, especially when he gets left alone, and they have four heroes that can fight very strongly without that Terror Blade to get involved. Night Stalker, AA, Undying, and Necro. Haven't seen Undi Core Undying in... I... I'm trying to think when I did, when I would have last him. Ever? Is it not what the, the over in China where they do it? No, it's not core. It, not core. Not core. Even in NA? Cap, have you ever seen a core undying? Core dying? In not in a long been time, a while, right? Been a while. A couple years, maybe. Yeah, maybe a couple years. Pretty crazy. I mean, I'll tell you what, Mind Control last game certainly wasn't playing undying. 11 deaths. Good, good one. That was like, that, was, that was my level of yeah. bad. <laughs> Sorry, lads and ladies, we have got to pause at the moment. Is that, look at the, uh, oh, is that, a, is that a monster sticking on the edge of the screen there? Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, you're right, better. Much better. So, I'll get an extra two grand for that. How do you feel about this? I, I, I do like midter feeds, but it's really hard to go against Liquid, like I was saying. I think Terra Blade is very good versus anti mage, and I think Liquid has a good group up line. And they got the comp. Towers. But to my man, the, the, the Necro Sunder Reaper Scythe. Oh, you, yeah, buy, you buy Armlet Shadow Blade on Terra Blade. <laughs> no. And then you just go around, you send someone, and then you reap a them. And then you AA blast kill. them. And, they're, and, then you, and they're literally, you literally dead. can't they're mess literally up that dead. Game. It's a guaranteed kill every time. They have, have a lot of. Nice little draft down. They have a lot of sustain. Oh! That's, that's pretty. Nice. Now we can actually. Mm. We should normally have this, actually. These that guys, actually is when it really comes nice. To us, you should actually yeah. keep this on. This is actually pretty good. And then throw in a couple monsters, like here, 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 here. Touch the. Up here. You guys want more creative. I'm petting the clock, look. I'll grab a core on dying. So it's Kezu Doom, right? And Kezu we, Doom. We ha witch doctor. But is he real? We ha. Oh, I have to cough, but we're on camera, and I can't move away and cough. So I move will. I will hold it in. <clears throat> and you're, they're muted. They're muting us. Oh, they. Oh, he's muted. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Thank you. That's some production value right there. They had you guys didn't even know I coughed. Right. Except that I just said it. What is going on? Are we paused? These guys are taking. Yeah, ages. they're paused. They just said that. Oh. Oh, okay, we're good. They literally said it. We're paused. One minute. I, I don't. Really tell. You muppet. 
What's this picture? Oh, they've all got Kuro as their profile. They all have Kuro. They've all got Kuro as their yeah. profile picture on the. Page. That's uh, apparently I was I asked uh, who was it? I asked Matu and he said it's it's Miracle's fault because but before they're all Kuroku no basket and now they're all Kuroki. I'm and we're in the game. We're in the game. Thank God. Prepare. I'm, re I'm ready for this one. Mind control and dying. See if it works. They've got okay, so they've got a lot of heal and sustain, and they've got a pretty cool push lineup with the Terraboid once he yep. gets online. There is versus an anti mage, and they don't have crazy amount of disables. They only have the silence coming up from Night Stalker and the Grow Ulti to disable him. I think they'll itemize to try to catch that guy out, but I think that what we'll see is the four of them running around for Liquid, and then Mot uh, Miracle getting all that space and just trying to farm up. And Reflection is extremely good versus anti mage. That's the one thing is that mana burn in the fights can be pretty absurd. Yeah, it's absolutely insane, as you say. While they quit. Smoking up with their five-man rotation. Down uh -huh. to bottom. Got a ward down, he sees. Oh! It. And he's you. Oh, look at him. He's hiding. He, they, he knows they warded there, too. That's going to get instant dewarded. He even has a sentry placed. Liquid does not know they're under ward vision. Beehaw. Look at they're even setting up the trap. We all like, I see you. I gotcha. Not spooky. They'd be fine. Easy. And on, oh, my control has a taunt. I, could, I mean, come on. Better. Yeah, you're not. You can't be considered a pro. Player I do see people not and use and it taunt. though. If you ain't taunting, you're doing it wrong. Oh, and they're TPing top with GH and Kuro, but oh. it's there with cancel. They get the rune. And Kuroki farms. Oh, they get she deny. Okay, they get one card. And now cancel. He's, he's going to jump, yeah. And now he TPs mid. I'm interested to see how Cancel does do in the mid lane, because let's be honest, Cancel, he's had a few rough lanes recently. Wait, only three, only three runes were grabbed. There's a rune just chilling in the top top area. No one grabbed it. Hello, Cinderin. No okay. one grabbed that rune. Is anyone going to get it? Cinderin. Oh, no one grabbed it. Whatever. It's still there. Sin's now going to go back for it, maybe. There we go. Sin's yeah. got it. He's on the ball. 34 seconds delay. The classic. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested how Council does in this mid lane. At the moment, it doesn't look fun. I mean, never Lenny against Necro. It, it can be considered as fun. He's He's got the salve up. And the Tumor Man already shoving the lane in. Best to try and zone. Cancel out top lane. Kezu gets forced back mid lane. Wrap around for Cinder. And oh, he's trying to set up for his boy Council. They're looking towards the Tumor Man. He gets forced to skill Ghost Try to level two. Yeah, that's an early point in it. I mean, it's it's not that big a deal. Heartstopper is great to harass versus uh, Tangos. It pretty much nullifies Tangos if they are used. And it is Undying in a 1v1 versus Anti-Mage for now while... So what is the holds. plan with the Undying? As we say, we don't see it in core position. Are we going to see anything different in terms of items that Mind Control is going to prioritize? Because he is in, in this core role and surely he needs to have a much bigger effect than than that of a usual position for Undying. No, I can't. he'll go Arcane Boots. That's what I'm sure of. And then maybe some hey, main items. Maybe a could be a I thing. I think got your first bird if on. Sin. I did it. Sin's Sin. done it. Sin had a really good game on the clock the other day, didn't he? He was it destroyed in that one. I remember clock. that game. Who was he playing against? Vega. I think it was one of the CIS. Yeah, Vega. I think so. Top lane, Kezu. Kezu. He's in trouble. We'll also go down. What have we got here? Night Stalker, the most picked and banned hero in 707. 11.8. Oh, I can't read it. And I read pretty fast. And lane, mind control. Giving We Are the D. Okay. He even skills, <laughs> he skills Tombstone Hallelujah. instead of having like Soul Rip, so trying to make sure he doesn't get dove upon by these heroes. Sin though, we're going to keep eyes on him. Yeah, all eyes on Sin really. He's trying to punish this uh, slow Necro in the mid lane, 285 movement speed. Oh, this is the time to go, surely. Yeah, look, he moves down. Cinder, oh, he's making the moves. Can he do anything big? He's tanking the tower here with the illusions. Oh, he looks for the block. Oh, he's going to actually get the cogs. And with the arrow. Do a decent amount of damage, they won't get the kill. GH is there and Sinran does have to back off. In fact, Sinran should be okay. He should be. <sighs> it does take quite a bit more of a beating than he was able to give to Matuma Man. Yep. CS on the safe lane, what are we seeing? 16, 17 for 12 on Terra Blade, 13 for 3. Miracle on Anti Mage. Miracle hadn't missed the last hit until just now he missed the range creep under the tower. Oh, he's better worry about his position on the team. Keeps up like that. Come on, Miracle, step it up some. He's eSport player of the year. That's true. We'll, we'll let him have a, a miss here. Tomato, though, on the other hand, has has missed a couple, but that's also his mind control. 
has been contesting, so he's trying to burn the mana out from that Undying, so he can't just stay there, but... Alrighty, Mind Control off to a better start than the Queen of Pain that he had in the other game. Yeah. When he was playing versus the Drow Ranger Trilane, but now I say that. Yeah, I give jinxed him. I know. This man's dead. Maledict's on him. The Patriot's out as well. Tomato yeah. jumps forward, makes sure the cutoff's there, and that's going to be a dead Undying. That's what we're here for. Absolutely. The way we say it is the opposite to how they play it. Cancel. Pulling very far ahead in the mid lane. He is. 17 and 12 to the 10 and 1. That rotation from Sin just... Sin is doing it. He has made it so the Cancel it. wins the lane. A modern miracle. I'm a joke. Cancel, he's had a rough time recently, but he's, yeah, this game, he's, he's keeping it on cue. Down on top lane. GH will be chased down. Look who's there. Weehaw with a rotation cask and a maledict. And GH is gone. Won't even be able to steal the bounty as Kezi picks that one up as well. Great rotation from Weehaw. And tell you what. This early stage of the game, there's some nice moves from it off in. Definitely the big worry is the fact that Miracle is uh, he's, he's hitting creeps up top and, and he's asking if there's actually any sort of opposition in his lane because he is he's having no trouble at all. There is just no harassment going away with this Terra Blade as Miracle has a very, very easy lane. Mid lane! Look at the cast bounces all with that range creep. Very nicely done from Weeha. We'll get the maximum bounces out. Matuma Man gets bursted down. <laughs> And I like this. We've seen, as I said, so many games cancel struggle mid because his lane, to be fair, he's been sacked. They look elsewhere. But this yeah. time around, a lot of prioritization on that mid lane, making sure the cancel has a good start. And the Matuma man is getting pushed deep underground. They have a lot of liberty in this game, too. You know, it's an undying off lane versus an anti mage. So they're like, okay, well, undying is very unlikely, or un undying is very unlikely to kill the anti mage by any means. So they can just free roam on the mid lane. And here, they're smoked yeah. again. They're going for Matu again. And Matu, like, they, they, they get some good bounces. He's dead. Yeah. He's stuck in the cogs. He does have the Ghost Trap buying some time, but so much magical burst with the Maledict means that that man should definitely pop. He's got one more heal to get out, but he's gone. He's out and down. Cinderum won't make it out, but they are fine with this. Just throwing bodies down the mid lane, punishing Matumba Man. At the same time, that this isn't the biggest worry for Liquid, because we've seen many times before, they do sack Matumba Man's lane, and he can't yeah, come back. That is very true. So there's definitely that to, to, to bear in mind, but... And GH makes the move. Yeah. He's like, all right, top lane, Miracle's perfectly fine now on his own. I can start pressuring the anti-mage a bit. Whatever, they're killing Matu over and over again, but yeah. he'll catch back up. That's tend to be what they do. Yeah. bottom. And GH with the Rocket Flare. And in fact, with the Maledict, I think GH may just be dead. He pops the stick charges. He's dead. He is gone. Yeah. Again. And now my control is getting grabbed out by Cinder in here. And they're looking to go for the Tombstone as well. See if they can get it here. Not gonna be able to farm the two. So GH did GH end up actually living. survived. Wow. Yeah, he was just beefy enough to survive. Yeah, the raindrop protecting one of the the maledict. Oh, yeah, that's a good call. Up top. Thought he would actually get maledict drop. again. And they they should find. Oh no, okay, he did have the stick charges. Those one charges may just keep him alive. GH has actually come back in on this bottom lane very low, seeing if he could throw a spell in before going back and, and refueling. They do have the shrine if they they want to just head back there, liquid. It's so weird how you see the raindrop blocking the mal maledict. I completely forgot about it when it ticks high enough. But he does survive on that. They get to use an efficient shrine. Mind control level five. And yes, yeah, still. The thing is that they are disrupting Tomato, the anti-mage. He doesn't have a kill letter's name. He's only 32 last hits in comparison to the 51 on Miracle in the top lane. So they'll probably have to make a, uh, a rotation to try to punish that Tyra Blade quite soon. Cancel still only 26 CS as well. This is a very low last hit game in comparison to the Terrible. Oh. Bottom. Another cast command that comes to GH, but GH will be happy to turn. With Mike, John, and Kuroki, they collapse straight away onto Weeha and force Tomato back. All right, they have to guard their tombstone. They yeah. can't let anti mage hit this last hit. Look at them positioned around it. He it's, wants it. It's 12, la 12 hits he from might, the tower. Could... Oh, tower. Look at them guarding it. Defense of the tombstone. He should get this though. Can he not get it, Tomato? They can deny it too, though. Is this he is... gonna get it? Oh, Tomato! Oh no, he's oh, gone they too get early. The deny. He's gone too early. <laughs> no, he's not getting that one. They keep it safe. They get the deny, indeed. Just be sure that they don't feed the anti mage that tasty, tasty graveyard gold. I haven't seen something like that in a while either. <laughs> it's just a team defending a tomb so he can't farm that's it. That's a TI winning play. <laughs> that's, that's really good. It's in now. Right. Finds Guro. Hey, that's indeed for the Colts and the Patriots. So Kuro in a lot of trouble. Tomato jumps forward, says, I want to get involved. And bam, Kuro is... He's gone. We are. Guys on to GH, but... With the cast... Oh, the actually, what, Tomato too. picking up to the high ground. They should certainly have enough damage to go for that. He'll throw down the Mana Void, make sure he gets the kill. 
going uh, for a different kind of anti-mage build is what it looks like here. Aquila? Yeah. Maybe because they're Hi. focusing so much on having a try lane? It seems weird because a lot of the times the reason why you hmm. don't see items like this is because at the end of the day it's slowing down your it's battle. It's your battle fury, yeah, and it's you don't need the those kind of like that sustain it's from anti mage. Sure, like if you feel like you need the stats, you just get the treads, but you know, a little early before the battle fury runs. But ah, interesting GH choice bottom. by Tomato. They go on GH, and again, honest, we're seeing just Malady just doing so much work in these games. GH is not getting out of this one, and he is going to pop. Infused Ranger up protects one of the instances. Tomato actually jumps in, slices him down. They do lose the Witch Doctor, but Weeha, he's already got the spells off. He's already done his job. They've got the trap onto Undying. Asina removes him with the cogs. Kuro's going to turn up. I think Kuro, he actually has to be a little careful himself. He's trying to do his best to buy some time for mind control. Oh, Tomato actually blinking away from the mind control kill. So mind control... Now, I should die, die now here with the Paralyzing Cask and the Maledicts. He pops the stick charges, but he will drop. And in fact, with Kuro trying to come in at the end of the day, he's going to be in a bit of trouble. A bit of spot above himself. Won't go down. It's very, very low. Matuma Man reacts by TPing back down bottom as GH rejoins the lane down there. Maybe that's why he's buying the Aquila. They know they're just going to run at him with three heroes. I guess, yeah. Right? He's just like, all right, they're going to battle me. I'll battle back. I mean, it, it is, of course, a very efficient item. There's a reason why you know, the majority of Aji cores will get this hit this yeah. time in the laning stage. It's because you're, uh, when you usually get it, it's like, oh, we're going to be fighting. Yeah. But anti Mage is one of those heroes that you don't really want to be fighting, but he knows that he's going to get involved in this game because of the way that they're playing. Oh, boy, they're looking at Miracle up top. He is a very rich Terra Blade, hitting 5k net worth at the 10-minute mark, pretty much. Dragon Lance, Treads. If Kezu, can, if Kezu can close the gap and get the Doom on him, he's just straight up dead if they chase. Let's see if he can. They are following him. They're stalking him. Cinder and Hordening. And Cancel connect with an arrow for them to catch up. Doom is wrapping from above, too. The arrow. Beautiful then. Is he going to throw Doom? I was going to say, he's got to, just in case. Yeah, he has, he's Thunder yeah, by now. It's level 9. He definitely going to have Thunder. So that, 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 that's the big kill, as we said. That's the, that is the kill the Cinderin and the lads need to be worried about. They have to deal with Miracle. They can't let him continue to free farm as he was. He was already so far ahead. And as we said, with, with the Aquila pick up spider, it's going to be a little bit of a slow progression for his farm. Oh, wow, bottom. What? Ice Blast to Weeha. That means that's the. I want the tower. Yep. Get out of my lane. Yeah. We're pushed. They even they, they revealed that they have the ward behind. That's why I say that. Because they whenever they go like that, you know that they see him. And yeah, Miracle even commits down there to be able to push the tower with them. Time to push tier ones. Miracle, as you say, coming in. Doesn't even need to use metamorphosis for this one. Yeah, free and easy. Tell and tell. Might go for two here. And they might try they to like, force the yeah. action. Because they have, like we were talking about, that sustain lineup with the Necro and the Dying. It's a lot of healing coming out mid. Cancel leaps in. What they can do here, and he tries the arrow to catch anyone. Man holding the fort. And then he has the helm finished on his way to the Veil of Discord. And the cancel. He get poked by Kuroki. It's okay, Miracle's still hanging around now, aggressively jungling over middle feed, starting the map. They're putting down aggressive wards too. Yep. I thought they might try to threaten with the meta, but it looks like they're just going to make a transition into a mid-push with the, with Matu already there, and all of them collapsing. Cancel has all three leaps available. Should be just fine. GH is not there for the disable. Do they have dust in case of the Moonlight Shadow? I see dust on GH and a sentry on Kuro. So they will be ready, and they do see Kezu porting in from Moonlight Shadow. Yeah, they've got managed to lock into Miracle straight away. Can they bring this man down before he gets the Sunder off? No, they can't. He gets the Sunder, tries to turn. They do pay the Doom's life. It does cost the Terror Blade. The Terror Blade will still go down, but the overall the power of Liquid is just overwhelming Middle Feet here. Indeed, with the Tombstone down, Mind Control just chasing them with the ultimate. They've found three, so they may have lost the Terror Blade, but still a very tasty fight for Liquid. They'll turn back towards the Tier 1. Oh, Miracle did the make, make mistake, though, of popping Metamorphosis. He was looking pretty dead. He tried to get the meta off and do some damage, but now meta's cooled down for two minutes when he does respawn. And they didn't claim the tower, so I think that's the biggest accomplishment for Midorfeet is that they did defend it even though they lost a few heroes. We are seeing how scary this sort of potential is, though, from from Liquid with the Ice Blast stuff. You know, Undying, AA, and Necro, that is just, you know, yeah, one decay, one... One Death Pulse and an Ice Blast does a lot of this stage. And as we see, you know, it's a clutch. Turner from Miracle, but 
Weeha just at the back lines was getting so much done with the Death Ward. That whole fight, that Death Ward going straight into the TB with the Maledicts on him and Miracle didn't stand a chance. But overall, like I said, the team of Middle Feet did struggle with the, the power that Liquid have in these sort of... Weeha. Looking very dead here. Yeah, just dropping the Tombs dead as well, making sure that no one wants to come in to try and protect the, the Lonely Witch Doctor. He's going drums, arcane drum on undying. So they're looking to okay. five, they're looking to four man while TB farms. Yeah, I mean, they're, yeah, they're, they're very strong as a four man. Yeah, no doubt about that. And Matsu does have that veil finished up. I think the panel mentioned as well as Necro. You know, Necro may have gotten some slight nerfs and everything, but at the same time, you can't purge off the ghost shard anymore. So a bit stronger in that essence. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. The prize is mine. So Sin again, 2-2-7, two, two, and seven. He involved in 9 of the 11 kills for his team. Cancel, might get caught out here, GH and Kuroki. Yeah, let's go over the silence, Ice Blast in, connects, Murano's gone. TP will be cancelled, no way you want to go into that. Very quick and easy pickup potential from Liquid. Yep. Even onto the cores, attack. even the anti mage they get the silence through. They should have enough magical burst to burst down to it, it is a crazy amount of magical burst. Yeah. With the level 2 soul rip and the reaper side on top of the ice vortex with the death pulse, that is... A ton of damage coming out. And now they're transitioning into a mid push, and Miracle's Metamorphosis is available again whenever he wants to join. But ideally, as a Tower Blade, you don't really want to join with your team until you have Manta finished. So he's got Dragonlance on his way toward that Yasha. And he needs a couple items this game, because he really wants to protect himself with uh, BKB and Lincoln's for that Doom. We've seen from the Witch Doctor Maladies. GH. Onto Cinder and Cinder does get the cogs out in time. With that in mind, Liquid unable to traverse them and, and chase them down. A look back towards mid lane. Kezu and we pushing out at the moment. Liquid starting to position themselves around. The line will be drawn by Cancel. He wants them to be careful. The Cancel knows. Won't be heading over via this this bit. So Kezu actually picks up a purge creep. Oh, and he gets rid of it. Okay, I thought he was going to keep the purge creep for that uh, Necro. But that still does remove it. Cancel again. Ice Blast. Doesn't hit. Miss. Connection, but a guaranteed a kill. A little off the mark there from Kuro's. Cancel makes a good good decision. Backing off, turning away. Changes direction. Dodges the Blast, but still Liquid. Find the space in that mid lane. They take the tier one tower. Miracle continues to find space down bottom. Yasha complete. Tomato's got a lot of space though from all this too. They're focusing a lot on killing Cancel and making the space for the Paraboy to on top. They almost get that tier two. He's going to go the way from this. Look at this, didn't yeah. on Tomato. Pops the Ghost Shroud. But he, he nearly kills Tomato. Tomato has to get out of there. Oh, and they've got him. Tomato's gone. They get the double. The Sinner is out as well. That was. I'd say a little, it was very greedy for, from middle feet to try for that kill. I thought they would just back out because AM's yeah. so close to Battle Fury too. They instead go for a kill on a Necro. Oh, that's that's going to slow down his Battle Fury quite a bit. That's pretty bold yeah. to go for that, especially without any other backup. They don't have Doom there. They don't have Miranda there. Hmm. Bit of a costly mistake there from middle feed. Cancel's queued up the magic damage build. So he wants to build the burst through that. Uh, Ghost Shard. It's also quite good versus Tower Blade. Yeah, very good. Clear the illusions Blade. and stuff, but once he gets BKB. So, good aggressive wards coming out from Liquid as well, being able to watch these movements from Liquid, or from uh, Mitterfeed, sorry. So, they will be able to see a lot of information with those two. And they'll be able to see wherever the anti mage is farming, most importantly. Smoke comes out. It is under a ward, though, as I just mentioned. They are aware of it. Radiant the Radiant Scan catches directly on top of Miracle, but he's moving away anyway. Arm in a safer position since that smoke was seen. I think as well, yeah, Miracle moving those illusions around away. I think he was, I think he was aware that the smoke was happening. I don't know. He, yeah, they saw it with yeah. the ward. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Just still waking up. <laughs> <laughs> but he, yeah, they're, they're absolutely sure sort of the direction it's going as well. So Liquid, they'll set up. They get the scan too now, yeah. so they know exactly they know. where... Uh... they got all the intel. Battle Fury finished, Matamato. Okay. Pretty decent timing after he got ran at for... Yeah, and considering you do go back for the Akira, as we yeah. just see what well, for start this. Three, out, three of out of 320 of... aims, uh, anti-mage has a Akira. Did you say the win rate of those games? 
It did not. It did not. So, as we mentioned, they don't have high disable for this anti-mage, so we see Matsu queues up a Hex as the second item. So, Veil into Sheep. Okay. Good way to go for those catches. I thought they might build for an Atos, but, I mean, the Manta timing is going to be faster than anybody else on the side of Liquid will get it, and Hex is just more reliable. It's a lot more costly, though. Of course. And mid, trying to find this tier one tower. Mind control. Level 11 now. Pretty beefy. With the backup of GH. This tower push may be slowed down. They're still looking, hunting for an arrow. They do find the connection onto the Night Stalker, but he's very deep. And they won't be able to do anything about that, especially with Matuma Man coming back into the mid lane. That was a Midas Doom, huh? So they want to take this game late. Okay. They want to be able to have AM and Doom. AM Doom Marana versus this quote unquote solo core power blade. Necro is kind of like one of those bigger cores, but he doesn't transition this in the same manner. And now Weeha getting Scott spotted out. GH, Matu. Just the Reaper Scythe, but can't quite close the gap. TP's in from cancel. will put Liquid off from diving for Weeha. Up top, Tomato finds a freebie. Kuroki out on his own. That's a killing spree too. A good chunk of gold for Tomato. He's picking up the pace and we're seeing the power of the battle here. I think what, like two minutes ago, it felt like he was 2k behind this Terra Blade. Now he's he's closing in on Miracle's Farm. farming a quad stack with, of Ancients with the meta though. And that's the Manta going to be finished up. He starts to get involved if he wants to. Reaper Scythe finds Weeha with GH. Putting the pressure on, and also worth noting, if they do take it late, I know you said obviously once the BKBs come out, sure that's a bit of an issue for the for the magic build, but if Council is able to play around those BKBs, we've seen before, you know, once you have the Ags, the E Blade, Dagon, you could just delete heroes at the, the the latter portions of the game. It can be very very potent. Like I'm sure it only costs you your life because you're throwing yourself in to commit the combo, but that sort of sort of play can be absolutely game winning regardless of what minute you're at. He's not revealing what build he's doing yet either. He no. only has shown the Ogre Club, so they're probably like, oh, I could still be Dragon ah. Knight, something like that. So he, he what, to make sure that they don't buy out I would, I would think so. Yeah. yeah. But it's also, I mean, Miracle is building a just tanky build. He's just going for the Eye of Yeah, that works Scotty. as well. So that'll help him have a lot of durability versus that burst. He just needs HP and teammates have like Lincoln's Lotus Orbs, etc. Let's talk to GH. Spotted. Tower. Are they gonna build the, build the tower? Sin's gonna try for a deny here, but gotta build too much damage. All in all, Liquid may have the slightly greater farm on Miracle, but this game, if anything, fitting a little closer than the uh, the Secret Liquid theory so far. Ran down. You say that, that this is the problem. Oh, we are. He's trying to go for the death one. It might control. He just walks in and tanks it. Ah, okay. <laughs> as soon as I say this game's looking kind of close, uh -oh, Liquid. No, Kezu's gonna get ran they just, They're just running in, jumping in, diving in. Kezu, is he gonna go down yet? Yeah, cold feet will proc. And all right, okay, this game <laughs> doesn't look that close no more. Liquid are just running at middle feed. Kirsten, dude. And as much as we've been talking about that if it went late, Liquid would probably be okay. At the same time, if Liquid win a couple of fights, this Terra Blade with Metamorphosis can absolutely just destroy the base at this, this relatively early stage of the game. And if they have that high healing. Yeah, here we go. About. They have Mech finished up on Undying, as I uh, thought you'd get, and yeah, Tombstone's down. Go for this tier three and rat. I mean, how do you defend this? You don't, we have to die. And now they have a Hex 2 just delivering oh, out. Cancel! Straight away onto Cancel. And this game is falling apart. Two buybacks come through. But Weeha, he's just going to die back. I don't think I've ever jinxed a game this hard, Bob. I said it was even. This is this is the most uneven I've seen a game. It's just over. Cancel 2. The oh, A-Blast. Oh, he has to leap geez. away. Oh, my goodness. All right, that's, that's top rack. That's a rack. That's, yep. Yeah. <laughs> 10k advantage. This is... Uh, been blown quite out of proportion. This is just... And they're not stopping. No, they've there's got no reason this, to not. They've got so much sustain on Undying. And How long have they got left on the meta? Enough time. Enough time. Okay. It's gone. That's that's possibly two wrecks. Now they're pushing oh. back out. All right, Kezzy jumps in. What's the doom on the Necro? I think they can keep that Necro safe. Oh, the illusion blocking the hook shot. Can they finish off this Necro Soul Rip? 
not much heal. Keeping him alive. I think he's going to survive. And look, he's coming on the back lines. GH, he's got his eyes on Kezi. Tomato jumps forward. Just get a decent mana for it. I say decent. He's looking towards Matty, but oh, Tomato, he may just go down. Oh, oh, oh. The ice blast. It's gone. Yep. Tomato's gone. GH has got issues as Kezi will chase him. Now they can turn it into a Rax. I mean, how many buybacks have we seen at the last minute from middle feet? They're just back in. Cancel. He has to leap away. Oh, the cast. Nice bouncy bouncy. Run, going in with the cogs and the death lord. They're onto Matthew, but he has the ghost shroud. Mind control looking for Weeha. The Tumor Man falls low, but Cinderin's down. Matumba Man gets healed up. Kezi just walking into the middle of them all. Cancel jumps for looking for Matumba Man with the stick charges in the hills. Oh, Matumba Man is going to keep himself alive. Oh, what? Well, this game has just gone to full chaos and pretty much full GG as it feels. This is. This is just. It's just over for. I yep. <laughs> I've never seen a game just fall apart. That it was so calm, it was so peaceful. We had the the terrible the anti mage farm in a tree, and then Liquid just decided to go. No, this game is over, boys. Well, they do. To be honest, it's the terrible comes into the fray and they yep. kill what three, four heroes, and then it turns into a big Rax push, and they have undying Necropos. It the amount of sustain that comes out from these two heroes. Oh, heals, Kuro, he's got third. He's got the BM dagger. Dagon two. Dagon two. Yeah. No. no that's it. Don't let that be no. So they they literally just in the middle of that fight in the top ta <laughs> top great. lane, they were picking up the sheep stick on the necro, and now he's got pretty much Shiva's almost done. Okay. Look at this swing. Yeah. Oh. That's the cinder and slide. That is. Well then. Straight down. So the yeah the chain feeds were real, and Liquid took advantage of it heavily. And now they've got Arcane Rune. They've got Meta up again because half of that push happened after Meta went down. Oh, Arcane Rune on Terra. That is the dream. And yeah, that really is the dream. And Kuroki finds a, a solo kill. Excuse me? On cancel. Wait, what? D what the hell happened there? Ice Vortex? Oh, the Dagon. It was the yeah. Dagon, I'll tell you what. All oh, right. When, you're, when your AA is solo killing the mid. Was he low? I guess he must have been low HP because Kuro only did 700 damage and he died. Dagon AA rush coming to pubs near you. Thanks to Kuro. Okay. All right. Well, this was a lovely game one. I'm looking forward to game two. Same. I don't know if uh, mid or feed are. I think Liquid certainly will be. Oh, what the heck? I think they know this is over. I think they were just kind of running in. All right. Well. Back to the drawing board for mid or feed. This was just, I mean, team league, but these guys are just, they're pretty, pretty damn amazing. They did hit their timing, and as wow. the timing hit, mid or feed kind of died one by one into succession as they're trying to push, push with the Terrorblade getting that timing window of it. I mean, that was yeah. less mid or feed, more top lane, middle and bottom lane, and will feed. It was just... Wow. It was just over. I mean, what, what like three minutes ago, it was like, what, 13, 14...